Hey everybody, welcome back. Here's another YouTube video for you guys. One of the big challenges when designing a turbocharger will always come to play with the bearing system. The heart of any turbocharger is essentially the bearing housing and everything that runs inside of it. That's where you will determine whether or not a turbocharger will be reliable, it will last long or it will fail prematurely. Imagine being able to see visually oil flowing through your bearing housing, through the galleries and actually collecting running through the bearing cartridge in a ball bearing scenario or journal bearings in a journal bearing scenario out into the pot belly collecting and draining and being able to while a turbocharger is running turn the bearing housing around inspect and visualize in other words looking through a looking glass to see what it looks like how the galleries are positioned whether or not there's a delay in oil delivery to the bearing system, whether or not there's cavitation, if there's any improvements to be made. Well, we've done just that. I'm not going to show you too much more other than we have a product which has just come off of a balancing machine, which is our bearing housing. And we're very excited to share this information. Although we won't show you too many close-ups of the bearing housing of, for obvious reasons, we have a bearing inside which runs an oil feed which you've just taken off of the balancing machine and we're happy. We're really, really happy. We're the only company that we know of that has manufactured a bearing housing that is translucent that we can actually watch the oil flow from the feed into the galleries from the galleries to the bearing cartridge this is a ball bearing turbocharger through the cartridge out into the pot belly and out the drain some of the features i'll share with you include being able to take this bearing housing now turbine side is this side on my left your right and being able to angle the turbocharger to a certain degree without worrying about oil leakage. Yes, you've seen these in pro mods and you've seen them installed in many cars. You've never seen them installed, not at high angles in street cars or circuit races for the obvious reason that oil leakage might occur. At the same time, you already know that bearing housings need to be installed at specific angles to induce the siphoning effect our internal structure of the water channels are such that you no longer need to do that there's automatic siphoning which will take place at the same time we have side by side compared the water volume capabilities of our bearing housing right next to the g series bearing housing from garrett and we hold 42 percent more water or cooling liquids inside of our bearing housing and we also have a compact bearing housing which is an inch shorter than any garrett so together with our latest design which is going to be coming out in our gen 2 this is just a gen 2 teaser we will have a turbocharger which is up to two inches shorter than any other turbocharger on the market. We will have the only billet forged machined bearing housing in the world. All the other manufacturers are either cast and final machined or just raw castings out of aluminium. We're the only company that will be using a specific grade of aluminium. And we will also have a lot more options, which I'm not going to share with you guys right now. But there's a lot of exciting information, a lot of exciting products coming down the line. Stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe. Catch you next time.